Hello fellow junk lovers, stuff collectors, and kids at heart. My name's Charlie, I'm the Offbeat Collector, and I love stuff. And one of the kinds of stuff that I love is Beanie Babies. So today, I'm going to show you all of the lucky bears that I have in my collection. So we're going to start with Aaron, the Beanie Bear. I do believe this was the first St. Patrick's Day inspired Beanie Baby, or at least the first one I know of. And he was very popular at the time. Named after the beautiful Emerald Isle, this Beanie Baby will make you smile. A bit of luck, a pot of gold, light up the faces, both young and old. So I have a funny story about it saying it lights up the faces of young and old. I was in the fourth grade when my mother entered a Beanie Baby contest to win an errand. And at the time, they said he was worth $600. We all know now that it's not worth $600, but maybe at the time, somebody sold one for that amount. But so, I entered my name into the contest, and my mom entered my brother's name into the contest. And so, I received a phone call out of my house, you know, on the landline, because back then we had landlines. And they called... And they called and they were like, can I speak to Dylan? And I was like, um, he's six months old, so he can't come to the phone right now. And they were like, um, well, he won the contest for the Aaron Bear. And I'm like, oh, okay, we'll come get it. So we won an Aaron Bear back in 1998. And it was really exciting at the time. Um, now, as you can see, I have several Aaron Bears and they're not worth $600, but I kind of wish they were because... I've got a few of them. <laughs> Next, let's talk about the Beanie Buddy of Aaron. I have one with a tag and one without a tag. I don't know how this, this happens, how I end up with multiples of so many things. I think when I go to some stores, stuff is really cheap. Like, I've gone to one store where I walked in and I found this big bin full of Beanie Buddy bears. And I was so excited. And I got to the register, and they were they were they were kind of damaged, like this guy, because I found him there. And you can see he looks very well loved, very well worn. It looks like someone washed him and put him in the dryer, which can really damage the fur on stuffed animals. So you should never do that. Um, but obviously, somebody loved this guy, washed this guy, did something that kind of damaged his fur. But there was a lot of Beanie Buddies there in the store, and they had holes. They had all kinds of damage that needed to be fixed, and I was like, I don't care. I will fix it. This place is cheap. I'm going to take them all home. And I go to the register, and they say, stuffed animals are free. So sometimes I get really lucky, and I get really good deals. So I end up with multiples of a lot of things. So this guy was free. Um, I don't know if his name is also Aaron. I, I don't know if he has a different name. I'll have to Google lens it and add it to the video when I edit. But yeah, just another cute lucky bear. Uh, next one we're going to talk about is actually an attic treasure, not a Beanie Baby. His name is Blarney. <laughs> Blarney. <laughs> um, that's just too cute, right? Uh, he's got his little green sweater with a little clover on it. So I feel like he belongs in the luck of the Irish video. Um, fun fact about me, I am one of those people who can find four-leaf clovers everywhere I go. Like, I just walk around and go, ooh, four-leaf clover, ooh, four-leaf clover, ooh, four-leaf clover. So almost everything you move in my house, you will find a four-leaf clover under it. I know that's random, but I think it's kind of cool. Next we have, oh, wow, his name is Clover. Ah. Original, right? Pretty perfect. Um, and Clover just happens to be covered in Clovers. Clovers on the back, Clovers on the front, Clovers everywhere. Very cute. I like the way they started coloring the ears and the paws sometimes just to add extra color, give more character to some of the Beanie Babies. He's definitely a cute little guy. And next we have... Let's see. What's his name? Mm. Luckier. Okay, so maybe there's one named Lucky, because this one's Luckier. Uh, I found this guy at a 
It was actually an antique store, and where I live, antique stores do not have antiques. They have junk, typically. So I found this guy at an antique store, and I think he was like $2. And I had never seen one of the, the Beanie Babies 2.0, and the tag had a scratch-off code. I don't think I've ever seen a tag like that, or maybe I've just never opened the code on one of my 2.0 tags. I never opened them. I don't know. But I thought that was cool. He was like $2. I was really excited to get a bear. I actually didn't have my collection. He's got the little tie.com thing on his butt. Super cute little guy. And probably my favorite out of my lucky collection, we have a lucky dog. So they did mostly bears, it seems like, with the whole Irish clover lucky theme. But I did find this Beanie Boo. I paid full price for this guy. I found him at Walgreens and just had to have him. Um, his name is Emerald. My name is Emerald and my fur is so green. I'm the cutest St. Pat's dog you have ever seen. And that's probably true because I don't think you've seen, or I haven't seen, a lot of St. Patrick's Day dogs. So it doesn't take much to be the cutest. But he's got a golden four-leaf clover on his belly, golden ears, golden eyes. Super cute little green doggy. I love him. I had to have him when I saw him. And... I added a bonus Beanie Baby to this video because there aren't that many Clover Ireland inspired bears in my collection, but I found this guy sitting on the shelf after I had moved all the bugs and monsters, and I was like, what category does a scorpion go in? So I googled it, and they say that scorpions are very similar to arachnids. So he's related to the spider. So I feel like maybe I should have put the scorpion in the bug video. So we're going to talk about him today. His name is Stinger. Stinger the scorpion will run and dart, but this little fellow is really all heart. So if you see him, don't run away. Say hello and ask him to play. I don't know. Does anybody really want to play with a scorpion? I mean, this one's really cute, but scorpions are pretty scary. Um, I went to Mexico once and there's a lot of scorpions there. Uh, we would go on the roof to hang out and there would just be scorpions just hanging out and chilling with their, their little stingers. It's a little terrifying if I'm being honest, but yeah, so that's my last, not really bug, but bug relative that didn't make it into the bug video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more Beanie Babies and more Attic Treasures and more, lots of, lots more of Thai plush and other assorted plush because I collect everything, make sure you subscribe and come back to see some more. Until next time, guys. Bye.